Today's tool tip, I'm going to show you how to make a simple chamfer end mill using the tool wizard. So we go into the file, new, and we use the end mill wizard. And in the end mill wizard, we have several options, different types of end mills using the wizard. But today I'm going to do the chamfer end mill and it gives you what is the length of the chamfer. Let me just change that to 1.5 and we go to the next. It asks you if you want all the flutes to the center. I've chosen two long flutes and two short flutes. Asks you for the helix. I'll put a 30 degree helix. It asks you if you need any additional operations. I'm not going to add any additional operations because I'm doing a simple end mill. I'm not even overriding the feed rate and finish. So automatically it goes into my wheel library and chooses the right wheels for the floating, the gashing, the chamfer, etc. And we have a, a file that actually pumps out. And in the chamfer operation, as you can see, we have different ways of uh, doing the chamfer. You can specify from the end or from the intersection of the dish angle or along axial from the end of tool or even along the chamfer angle. With all these options, we are able to produce a good chamfer end mill with a simple click of a few buttons.